you guys these came out so amazing watch throughout the whole video and see how i did this step by step hey it's stacy thank you guys for clicking to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe let me know that you guys are enjoying my contact Anyways, today's video, we'll be doing some arts and crafts. I thought it would be great that we do some heart table design for our... I thought it would be great to do some cute design out of heart tables. Aren't they super cute? Now, I found this table at Target for only five bucks. Isn't that awesome? And it comes with two, as you can tell, one small and medium. And I thought this would be great to do some painting on it and covering it with resin on top. How cool is that, right? I already have a theme that I wanna do with these tables and I thought how cute it would be to do some anime couples. I just had to, I saw it, I saw it at Target, I had the idea and I picked it up and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's get these table and add some cute designs on these. This is not just going to be for only February, but I thought this would be great also as a decoration all around, right? It's, it's a heart, who doesn't love heart? But anyways, all right, well, enough of that. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna start by removing the plastic. And once I finish doing that, I'm going to set everything aside and we're going to start by applying gesso. There's many different kind of gesso brands, so I use this one in particular. So feel free to use your favorite gesso. I'm going to apply one layer of gesso on this and then going to let it dry and then I'm going to add the second layer. And also let's not forget to add some gesso on the edges. Using a foam brush, I find it very easy to paint in any edges, especially on canvas. When you paint on the edges of the canvas, it's so much easier and cleaner. So I definitely recommend that instead of a brush because a brush takes forever. Trust me, you're going to thank me later. Unless you already been doing that, then, uh, then good for you. <laughs> So we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to add the gesso, let it dry, and then add another layer. And same routine with the other table. So I don't have to repeat myself in what we need to do with this. You guys got this. Once I'm done with my sketch, I'm going to start by outlining my design with acrylic paint. And I like this one in particular, Angelus. But you don't have to use that one. You can also use like this gloss paint I got from Hobby Lobby for only $4.99. And I like to use these small thin brushes. It's so good for small details. And yeah, let's get started. So have everything set up and ready to go and I'm going to start by outlining my design. Now I'm going to fast forward a little bit of this just so that we can like get to the to the fun part of course and also like you know it takes a while to like you know see me trace this whole design unless you want to see the long version of how i draw my design definitely let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that um and yeah just it'll it'll let me know <laughs> And oh my gosh, this came out so nice. Now that I'm done with this one, I'm going to start with the smaller one. Now for me personally, I like to outline my design with acrylic paint, of course, um, first. So that way I can have a nice, neat outline, guideline, right? And it helps me with like where the color goes. And although the paint does end up covering most of the black, it's fine because I will end up outlining it again i feel like it helps me with like making the lines more crisp and yeah i think it's just much easier but that's just my preference if you guys don't do that you guys do that like in the end that's totally fine too that's just how i do it and it's looking so good i love how like it's coming great so far and yeah i just i just enjoy painting do you guys enjoy painting i I honestly love just adding all these bright colors and by the way with the yellow I don't know if it's just me maybe it's not just me but the yellow usually has like you have to add like multiple layers just because the yellow is just like not as vibrant and you can see some of the outline strokes of the brush I guess you can say but uh I you know it's good to like add multiple layers either way um I sometimes like to mix different kind of yellows together just so it can make the paint more thicker right 
but uh yeah it's this is looking so great and i decided to add pink background which is super cute right it matches nozuko's eyes and yeah this is this is going great what do you guys think and of course let's not forget the edges Sinitsu and Izuku are looking great and I can't wait till I'm done with this part and then we get to add resin the much fun part but anyways I'm um, not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right apparently I'm not <laughs> but I feel like to me I am pronouncing it right I mean I, I don't know but if you guys hear me pronounce the names wrong I'm sorry I just I don't know how to pronounce it well, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so we're gonna finish up with this one. We're gonna finish up with the outline. Like I said, I like to add the outline again in the end. And it makes it much, like, neater, I feel. But yeah, this is really great. What do you guys think? It's so cute. I love it. Wait until the end. You have to watch the result to the end. So for this heart, I decided to add a yellow background, but a much lighter yellow. So obviously I mix more white in the yellow. And I've decided to add yellow because it matches Zenitsu. So cute, right? So for my next anime couple, I'm gonna do Nezuko. Oh my gosh, did I just say Nezuko? Sorry, Tanjiro and Kanao. <laughs> we're gonna do that and we're gonna finish up. I'm gonna speed up the video just, just a bit, just so that we can get to the resin, right? So uh, if you guys wanna see the full version of me painting this design or just in general in the future other design, please let me know. Cause uh, I, don't, I don't obviously wanna bore you with just painting for a very long time a design <laughs> unless you guys want to see that definitely let me know now for me when i paint i really enjoy like the bright colors and just very vibrant colors right now as much as i enjoy nozuko and zenitsu painting one i really enjoy tanjiro and canal's painting because something about their color is just like very unique and i just love how like these colors look really great together Two hours later you guys look how cute they're looking so far aren't they so cute literally they're like little mini tables with anime design on it super cute i freaking love it so far so good way better than what i imagined this is looking so great and i love how i end up going with painting the same color as the background on the edges because when you set it down it looks so great together it just blends in with the background it looks great now for my next step i'm going to show you how i apply my resin to my design now if you guys don't want to do resin and you guys prefer some type of mosh pot instead or even like a gloss seal that works perfectly fine as well but for this video i'll be showing you how i use resin you're gonna need wooden sticks and by the way i got these in dollar 25 these small cups to help me measure my resin and the resin brand i like to use is art resin it's non-toxic so this is definitely friendly to use and i'm also going to be adding glitter into my resin make sure not to add too much and blue duct tape to cover whatever you don't want resin to touch now before I get started with my resin, I'm going to cover the areas I don't want resin to touch. So make sure you cover every area that resin might end up touching because resin does end up getting on everything. So make sure just to be sure, cover everything that you feel that it will get on just to have a neater and cleaner project. And I'm also going to be covering the legs of the table. To get started, make sure your workspace is prepped. And make sure your art piece is leveled and on a good flat surface. And since my art piece is really small, I won't be using too much resin. Now for the mixing part, you're going to have to do a one-to-one -one epoxy resin and requires equal amounts of both resin and hardener. And make sure your measurement is accurate. Adding too much of either resin or hardener will alter the chemical reaction and it's just basically not going to mix well. Art resin is very sticky so don't forget to wear your gloves. It will protect your hands from both a sticky mess and skin irritation. If your skin does come into contact with the art resin, and just rinse it off with soap and 
and water. Art resin doesn't stick to plastic, so use a hard plastic mixing container and the tools for an easy cleanup. And make sure you mix the resin for three minutes. Scrape the sides and the bottom of the container as you mix. You'll start to notice that your resin is looking a little foggy and even bubbles starts to appear, but don't worry, you can easily eliminate all of these once you pour and spread the resin. And also by using your torch, it will definitely take away all the bubbles that's in the resin. Now for this part, I'm making sure that the resin touches every part of the design. Make sure you don't leave no spot without resin. Adding resin to my design definitely gives it that pop that it needed and it's looking so good guys. And I know there's a lot of bubbles as you can tell, but don't worry, the torch will remove that in seconds. And now if you're wondering where I got this torch, I got it at Amazon and I can leave the link below so if you guys want to check that out. I think it's so worth it and I freaking love it. Look at how amazing it removes the bubbles in seconds. I love this torch. Art resin is definitely my favorite resin by far and it does not leave a yellow stain i believe that's how they call it um this one is definitely a clear one so i do recommend this one because i know some resin do leave like a yellow color in the resin and this one does not i hope you guys are enjoying the video don't forget don't forget to like and subscribe good job <laughs> In case you guys were wondering, that was my daughter. Ain't she so cute? She has the cutest voice. <laughs> and we are almost done with this fun project. It's looking great so far. And the result in the end is even better. You guys gotta watch till the end. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the end of the video. Like, what are your thoughts on my design in the end? 24 hours later. And here is the final result. It came out amazing and I am in love with how glossy these designs look. It kind of looks like glass, right? Well, anyways, it was so worth the $5 at Target. Turning this little mini table that I got at Target for $5 to this cute little anime little table display that I can just put at my office or basically anywhere I want, basically. Also, these are two designs that I didn't finish, so leave a comment below if you'd like to see me do a video of me finishing this project for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely will let me know that you guys are enjoying my contact. And if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. What design would you have done? Would you have done a different anime couple? Would you have done something that's not anime? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I definitely have so much fun with this and I, I can't wait to do more with resin. I feel like I'm loving resin even more. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Until next time. Bye.